Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to today's video. So for today's video, I thought I would do just a really quick get ready with me. Um, today's Sunday, which I really don't do makeup on Sundays, but I was really in the mood to film because I haven't filmed in so long. So I've already prepped my skin, I've done my um, morning skincare routine and I've just used the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser. I always have to prime my skin. Um, I just use a SPF 50 moisturiser from Bandai Sands. Really been loving this one. I uh, bought it just for my holiday so it's a little bit higher uh, but I've just been using it ever since because um, I feel like this one doesn't really break me out. So I always have to wear sunscreen because obviously sun exposure causes wrinkles and I don't really want that. Um, so I apply this all over my face and then I drag it down to my neck. I never used to put it on my neck until I saw a photo of a I think she was like a 60 year old woman and she always put sunscreen on her face but not on her neck and you can see like the drastic difference. And moving on to the skin, I'm actually not going to do any foundation, I'm just going to stick to concealer and the concealer I just use is the Tarte Ultra Creamy uh, that I get my grand to buy it for me from Poland and ship it over because obviously um, it's one, it's a lot cheaper and you can't get it in the UK and I just really like it. Oh yeah, I think this is like the best concealer ever. Now I'm just going to blend it out with this really old beauty blender. I've kind of been into like the natural makeup recently. Um, like even if I show a little bit of like, um, I don't know, like scarring on my face from like my spots. I don't really mind that anymore. I kind of just got over it because I feel like everyone just has them. Now I'm going to move on to contour. Or bronzer, I don't really know what you call it, uh, but I've been obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury, like TikTok famous um, contour sticks. Um, I've been obsessed with it. So what I do is I take it on a brush, I squeeze a little bit out, and I just put it on the brush, so it's not as heavy, and I find it so much easier to blend out. And what I do is I do little dots, a bit here. A little bit here. Like I've got this like natural line, so I kind of do it in the natural like crevice, and then I kind of pat it in. There's literally no technique what I do with it. Um, I'm not <laughs> literally the best at makeup, so don't even listen to my advice. So I've got a bit of a life update for you guys. That's why I kind of wanted to do this video to kind of fill you guys in. Um, so me and my boyfriend we're in the process of buying a house, which is really exciting. Um, uh, hopefully if everything goes really well, um we should be moving in by October. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna take you guys along for the whole journey of us uh, redecorating the house because we're gonna do the bathroom and the kitchen um, when we before we move in. And then obviously a lot of decorating, painting walls, um, stripping carpets. Okay, now I'm gonna do some liquid blush. And this is the blush I've been using, um, again, from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Peach Chasm and I really like this. Um, so what I do is smile and kind of put it on the highest point of my cheek. I love how this kind of works as a highlighter as well because it's so glowy. And I just use my the same um, beauty sponge to kind of blend everything in. Because I'm really oily, I actually need to set my skin in with a bit of powder. So I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier powder. And I just use the same sponge and I just put that under my eyes and I kind of like to blend it in straight away I don't like like to be and this literally just sets everything in place and I like to do a little bit on my chin and then like my lip area so I don't have any like smile lines I guess from foundation or like from concealer and then on my forehead because this is the bit that gets like really oily of the most now I'm moving on to powder like bronzer i'm going to use a hula bronzer in caramel and yeah i'm just going to go with a little brush and i like to kind of tap it in and just add a little bit more bronziness to my skin because i feel like when i add the powder it kind of like washes me out a little bit okay also a bit of a life update not really life update but kind of a reason why i haven't been filming as many videos is because i've been so busy with my new work um, if you guys don't know, I am a marketing assistant and for a technology security company and yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Obviously, it's a lot more hard work than it is with, with retail and yeah, but this is why I've been so busy because I don't get home until like 6pm and then I just want to make my food and then by that, like by like 7-8pm, I just want to go into bed. Um, and obviously on weekends, I kind of just spent weekends with my friends and my boyfriend. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to set some time 
decided to actually film videos because I really enjoy doing them and I really want to take it like seriously but it's just I never have the time. I'm going to do um, blush now and I've been using the same blush probably for about um, two years now I think. This is just the um, Primark blush in the shade um, Desire and I really like it. I think it's got a really nice colour payoff and I like how again it gives a little bit more glow. Moving on to eyebrows, which is probably my most dreaded part of the makeup routine just because every time I do them, they come out differently each time and I can never get it perfect. Uh, but I'm just going to show you two products I've really been enjoying using for my eyebrows to make them look decent. Um, so the first one is the NYX um, eyebrow pencil in the colour Ash Brown. And this, I feel like this has been a game changer for me, especially for my eyebrows. So this is the Schwarzkopf got to be glued for brows and edges gel. So it's basically a gel that you can use for eyebrows or for your hair. Um, I kind of use this for my hair as well if I want to do like a really sleek pony. I'm not going to film my eyebrows because I'm literally going to stress out if I well, try to film them. So be right back. The eyebrows are done. Um, and again, I'm not really happy with them, but we'll just live with it. I don't really do anything crazy with my eyes. I just like to take a little bit of powder and um, so I just use the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish powder um, on a little brush not make them look I guess so oily and yeah that's it that's literally all I do I'm moving on to mascara I'm gonna cut my eyelashes I'm gonna use my favorite mascara which is the telescopic um, mascara from L'Oreal it's honestly incredible I love this mascara so so much And then what I like to do is take a clean spoolie. You can literally get these from Primark or just anywhere. And I kind of like to brush. Obviously I did get a little bit of mascara on my eyelid and on my little cheek. I think this is dry now. What I'm gonna do is just take my eyebrow little spoolie and just scrape it off. I've just moisturized my lips using the, this little lip balm. Um, so a lot of the times I don't really do anything to my lips. I will literally just put on lip balm or a little bit of a lip gloss. Um, the lip gloss I really like is the Dior Lip Oil. Uh, but if I want to do a little bit of lipstick, I'm just going to use the Charlotte Tilbury combo. So this is a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk. And I do kind of like to overdraw them just a little bit, just on like the edges. Obviously I don't do anything crazy. Don't really overline them that much. Um, I kind of do want to get lip injections because uh, I feel like my bot my top lip is so much smaller compared to my bottom lip. Um, and I'm just going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick I got as a set for Christmas. And yeah, I really like it, but I don't do that much. Because I want a little bit of glow, I'm going to add this lip oil. Um, this is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. Um, this is in the shade 001 Pink. As you can see, there's literally not that much left. It looks gross now, that is disgusting. Um, but it smells like cherries, really like it. Um, a little bit pricey, but I've literally used this so much. There's literally barely anything in it. Um, and I find it really um, moisturizing as well on my lips. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this oil. So I just turned the light off so you can see a little bit better what the makeup looks like. Um, it's a very natural, glowy skin. Um, I might add a little bit more powder and the same um, Charlotte Tilbury powder just in forehead, just literally in the T zone. There you go, just kind of set everything in place. Um, but yeah, this is what the finished makeup looks like. And again, I'm not really happy with the eyebrows, but. Um, they're very same place, you literally cannot move them. Moving on to hair. Um, this is what my hair looks like after I wake up. Um, I've had my hair in a braid last night, so that's why I've got a little bit of kinks. Um, so for today, I kind of want to have just straight hair. Um, so I washed my hair yesterday. Um, so what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to straighten it um, using the Dyson. Air wrap. I got the Dyson for my birthday 
um, which was last week and I'm obsessed with it. I've used it a handful of times and I really like it. I'm really impressed with it. Obviously my hair is very fine, um, so I need to protect it with heat protectant. Um, I just use the Schwarz Scott Got To Be. I'm just gonna spray a good decent amount of this into my hair. I'm gonna use this barrel to kind of straighten out my hair. I'm not really sure if this is the correct way to do it. Um, obviously I'm still learning, um, but yeah, <laughs> let's see how it works. So I've just straightened my hair, um, well I've just straightened it as much as I could using this little barrel um, and my hair feels so smooth, oh my god are you kidding me? Um, but I do want to give it a little bit of volume because it's very flat because my hair is very fine. I'm just going to use um, this one to kind of, I don't know, add a little bit of volume up here. I probably should have done that first uh, but I didn't think that through. So. So much more volume using the round brush and you can actually strain it a lot more as well. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Um, I'm still getting used to this, so probably um, my technique of it is not as good um, compared to other people, but I will get better at it. Um, and I'm still yet to perfect my technique of curling my hair. I feel like for blow drying, having like a really clean, um, fresh, looking blow dry as if you just got out the salon and um, I think it looks really good okay so excuse the really dirty mirror and um, I really need to clean it at some point but this is um the outfit for today it's full fit is from Adnola I've been obsessed with this stuff recently <laughs> they've got really good quality basics um and just like loungewear stuff so I'm just wearing this racer top very seamless like very thick material just says Ada and then these ultimate um ooh, I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> but okay um so yeah I'm just wearing these um ultimate um dark grey leggings um that I got in the post few days ago I already have them in black and like olive green and I'm obsessed with them because they're so comfy um, they're very high waisted and they literally snatch in everything. I might as well show you some of the stuff that I picked from Adonola because I'm obsessed with them and they've recently um, launched a new collection called the Soft Basics and I just love everything they have on there. Um, so the first item I picked up was just this pretty basic like cap sleeve top um, in grey mile and I'm obsessed with it. Um, I got this in size extra small and can you guys see that how it kind of like snatches in at the waist it's given me like major skins vibe but this was like a fraction of the price still very good quality very stretchy and it literally kind of fits like shapewear so I really like it and it just says like I don't know that at the back as well which is like a cute little detail um I also picked up um a little pair of like cycling shorts I guess like workout shorts obviously I'm not going to wear them for working out because I don't even work out uh, but I thought they would be really cute just for like lounge around the house walking the dog with like a really big oversized hoodie um but this material literally feels like velvet is the only way that I can describe it they're so soft so stretchy super comfortable they don't give you a camel toe whatsoever and your butt looks amazing in them and again they've got the super high-waisted band to kind of snatch your waist in as well really like them i got them in size extra small as well and they also have a matching um like sports bra top as well which i'm probably gonna get as well and i hope they release them in different colors as well and this dog is really annoying hmm? he's in a really playful mood and he keeps trying to bite my slipper okay and the last item i picked up is this oversized um hoodie and it's super oversized this is a size medium uh, but i'm actually going to exchange it for a smaller size because it's very big uh, i kind of do want at least one like normal sized um hoodie um so this is a size, size medium and it's huge it just says i don't know sport um active lifestyle and it's a really thick like good quality hoodie um and there was actually reasonably new price as well and they also have a matching Oh, I just got a bit of foundation on it, I think. Um, but they also have a matching, like, joggers as well. 
um, so I'll probably get that as well. Um, but they, they have really good stuff and I think, I think they're launching more stuff as well. Uh, but yeah, that's everything I had to show you. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me plus a mini haul. Um, I'm gonna try to do more videos, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.